Welcome back to the doll's room. Today's video is going to feature Dal Risa Rock. I have two Dal Risa Rocks. This girl is mostly, um, is mostly stock. She still has her same eye chips, same wig, and I'll put her stock outfit on in just a moment. And then this girl is, um, partially customized. So it's just a change of wig and eye chips. And the girl on the right is wearing a beautiful dress by Dolly's Love Dresses. It's a tearing and cat and pattern. And um, the boots are from Pull Up the Milk Latte. The stockings, I believe, are Mae Ma Dollhouse. And the girl on the left, on the right, <laughs> on the left, all right. Anyway, this girl is wearing an outfit by, or not by, the stock outfit that belongs to Simply Mango even with a little chihuahua. Before I dress her, I want to show you how much incredible stock she comes with. So she has a little t-shirt. It says, the, the fashion is dead. <laughs> um, little sunglasses. Most incredibly adorable pair of teeny tiny little cutoff shorts, denim shorts. Um, that's a bracelet, little purse. These are belts. I love her cowboy boots. They're so cute. This little pom-pom hat. This is my favorite piece. Um, it's so beautiful. And um, I love using it um, for my wintertime displays, or winter or autumn. She has a little headpiece. And yes, these do have, um, it does come with feathers. Uh, but I did buy her second hand, if <laughs> that helps. Um, a little clip-on braid and fun little stockings. So, let's dress her. So, as you could see from that, she has so much stock that, um, I can't even put it all on her at the same time. So there are many different ways to style her. I think this is more appropriate for summer right now, but I love the coat and the hat so much. I wanted to show you what that looked like on her. And obviously you can see she is, um, that she's on an Obitsu body, Obitsu 23 centimeter. Um, but wonderfully enough, um, all of her stock still fits her really well. That's not always the case. Some of the Dell um, outfits can be so, uh, so tiny, so skinny, or it's, it's actually strange. Um, the Dells have um, sometimes thicker torsos than the Obitsu 23, but they have shorter legs. And <laughs> I had to look at pictures and only in looking at pictures did I realize that that little feather that I stuffed away in the purse is actually the decoration for um, for this braid. So let me put that on her really quickly. There, I figured while I tried to finagle that feather onto the braid, I might as well put on the, the glasses. And this, this look is really cute as well. You know, in all the years that I've had her, I don't think I've ever put her in, in all of her stock, um, in all of her stock pieces. Actually, most of these, except for the the sunglasses and the jacket and the shoes, um, most of them have just been sitting in um, in a little, anyway, where I store the, the stock outfits so that I, theoretically things don't get lost. This, um, let's see, so Dal Chibi Risa Rock, um, there might be another word in her in her title, I'll, I'll type that up later. Um, she was released in 2010 and she was a collaboration with Groove and Risa Hirako, who um, is the she's the owner of the of the designer label Three Unicorns. That's the extent of of, of what I know about her. And so she designed uh, this little Risa based on herself. I even share the same name. And the chibi in the title is supposed to be um, well. Chibi means small or small version of yourself. I actually got most of my trivia off of the uh, Project Dollhouse website um, from Jan. Um, I used to see her her photos and posts um, all the time in the in the pull-up world. But she has an extraordinary website, so I will I will put a link to that below. And so yeah, 
when I saw pictures of, of her, I was just absolutely smitten. And I had started to collect dolls and was obsessed and I wanted her so badly, but she was not easy to find. Um, she and there's another version, uh, Dal Chibi Risa Sweet. Um, they had sold out completely and really hard to find. Um, but she eventually came up secondhand. I, I, maybe I got her on eBay. I don't remember anymore. Um, so she, she was, uh, she came used, but, uh, but in really great condition. And, um, and I tried to keep her as, as authentic to herself as possible. I did give her, um, thicker eyelashes and of course the, the Obitsu body, but otherwise I kept her intact. So naturally <laughs> that, uh, that meant that I got very curious to, to see what she would look like customized. And not a long time after I got, um, this girl, so I named her Maya. Not a long time after I got Maya, I saw um, another Dal Risa available for, for purchase, and that Dal um, didn't come with any stock. So she was in just perfect condition for me to, um, to kind of play around with. So let's look at her. She's super adorable. And her name, I named her Mila. So that's Maya, this is Mila. And I gave her Lullaby for Dolls eye chips. These were some rosy, rose something was in the title um this wig was it's actually backwards it was uh, it was um, a wig for um a bjd which i got for tang but then i just chopped it up and i spun it around until it it fit her and this has been my favorite wig on her but i also uh have her have had her in like in different wigs but definitely i have this little short black bob and when she was in that, I decided that she was my mini me, which I never actually thought about it before today. The the chibi part of the title um, with Risa and Risa and Mina and Mila. <laughs> um, so I took her on an adventure uh, with me on a trip back to Oregon. Uh, we had lived there for over a decade and went back to visit friends and it was really fun to travel with her. So I want to definitely put a slideshow on this video and share with you all of that. And um, let me know if you have any questions or comments. And... Mm -hmm.